Okay, I think I should do somewhat of an official intro to this video, fuck it. But today, I will be giving you tips and tricks in multiplayer if you are a beginner. So, let's go into the daycare right away, and I'm going to show you the first thing you'll want to do. Well, I guess this isn't exactly the loading screen you will get, but you will get some type of loading screen right when you go into multiplayer. It will give you an option to pick three Mortys. So some Mortys I would suggest getting, I don't really know how far progressed you are in campaign, but honestly I would suggest progressing somewhat decently far in campaign, maybe beating it before actually going into multiplayer, but get the one true Morty if you have it, he's the best Morty you can have in this game. I would say any final evolution, it will say fully evolved if you bring this Morty into multiplayer. Okay, so a fully evolved Morty is either rare or you fully evolved him. So if you just go out and capture a wild Morty, only first evolutions will be in here in multiplayer or they will be rare. So if you go out and capture a Morty, he's rare only if he has fu fully evolved by his name and you just captured him. But if you evolve into a Morty, then you will know it can get to fully evolved when you finally evolve every first evolution into the final evolution. So I know that's kind of complex, but I'm trying to help you guys out a bit. I would suggest getting Mascot Morty if you're going into multiplayer right away. Get Mascot Morty from Campaign, um, the One Shoe Morty, Cronenberg Morty, Morticia, or any final evolution, any rare Morty. Um, either Rare or Final Evolution, any Morty game Morty. So if you guys don't know who those are, here's one, Head is a Morty, Exoskeleton Morty, Turbulent Juice Morty. Those are all really good Mortys you can bring into this from the Mortys game. Now I would ask myself this question. Do you want to start filling out the Morty deck right away or do you want to start leveling up? Let's do the leveling up aspect of this first. So I would say if you want to level up your Mortys, I would go around... There will be trainers that you can battle who are like bots basically in the game. They aren't real people, but the Mortys you will kill from them are going to be pretty easy. So you go up to someone, you click on their name, and you click battle. That way you can get into a battle. Um, if they are a bot, they will have three Mortys that are pretty basic Mortys. They're like Scruffy Morty, um, possibly like... Um, v-neck morty any really basic mortys they'll all be at full health i'm just gonna run away from this battle because i don't really want to battle but then you know you start battling that person you'll be able to kill them pretty easily i would say once your mortys get a little bit higher level maybe like level eight nine then i would suggest start battling people who are higher level than you you will gain more xp that way and you gain xp solely through battling trainers but you can gain xp for your mortys through battling any random opponent you see, any Wild Morty. So if you want to go into a battle and you can kill any Wild Morty you like, that's a good way to gain XP for your Morty. But to gain XP for your Rick, the only way to do that is through defeating trainers or at least killing one of the trainer's Mortys. If you don't kill any of the trainer's Mortys, then you won't gain any XP. But if you kill one and you still lose, you still will gain XP for your Rick. It will be a little bit lower. Let's say you don't have any good Mortys. This might be a pretty long process, guys. But what I would suggest doing is going around and try... Oh, of course, you got to pick up these loot boxes. Oh, give me the loot box. Thank you. Loot boxes will give you items. Oh, fuck. I do not want to share that. Oh, shit. This is going to pop up, too. <laughs> But you pick up items, you will get flurbos that way. But what I was saying is, you want to start looking around for Mortys you want to capture if you don't have any good Mortys. If the Mortys you come into the game with are very common Mortys, and they're not rares, or they're not fully evolved, I would start looking around for rare Mortys right away. So some rares you want to look out for in this first dimension... You have Mascot Morty, Wild Mascot Morty, Animatronic Morty, Punk Morty. Those are four I can think of right now. I can't really think of any other Mortys. I'm trying to, but nothing comes to mind. If you can't find any of these, any of those Mortys, what I would suggest doing is going around and killing Wild Mortys. That way, once you kill a Wild Morty, more Mortys will spawn in, and it will give you a better chance at finding a Rare Morty. If you run into any Mortys in the wild... 
and you don't know if it's a rare or not, I would suggest clicking on them, quickly Googling if it's rare or not. You can just Google like their name and it should pop up on po or on Pocket Morty's wiki. I was about to say Pokemon wiki, but it should pop up there and it will tell you if it's rare if you look at the description. Another thing you might wanna start doing is picking up items. Items will be all over the place and I have made a crafting video on how to craft every single item in the game. So you can definitely go look that up if you want to. But you will go in here once you have enough items. And right now I have all these recipes. I guess I can go through and just show you all of them. This is how you craft every item. Morty manipulator chips are very good. Those are for capturing Mortys. Serums, all these different serums, they will regain you health if you are damaged in a battle and you want to regain any health for any of your Mortys, I would suggest sticking away from these regular serums once you're far, um, a little bit further progressed because they're really not worth using. Then you have a Housinger, which will revive any Mortys that are dazed, a Pure Housinger, which will fully revive. The Housinger will only give half the HP back, but the Pure Housinger will fully revive any Mortys. Then all these cures, th these two cures actually, they're not really useful in battles I would say. I would just suggest um, staying away from them. You don't really need them. The pure Kirum, this will erase all your um, paralyzed or poison. If you're ever paralyzed or poisoned, it will re remove that and it will restore you to full health. Then the pure platonic rock and the platonic rock will restore attack for 50% for this platonic rock and all of your attack for the pure platonic rock. This is a level up mega seed. I would suggest, you know, just not using that right now. Just use the regular seeds on your Mortys if you want to. Here's a battery. Um, that's just used for other things. A supercharged battery is used for other things. The rest of these items are just used if you want to craft another item, but those are all the items. If you want to pause the video just so you can make any of those items, make sure to do that. This is a very powerful common Morty. I would suggest getting this guy and trying to fully evolve him. This personally is my favorite common Morty in the first dimension. There really aren't any really great common Mortys except for this Birdosaur Morty. So if you get, holy shit, one HP, that is lucky. But if you get um, 24 of these Birdosaur Mortys, you can get Prancer Morty. I know that will take a long time, but I would suggest, oh, we can't even capture this guy. So we're just going to run from the battle. But what you would do there is use an item and then, you know, click on a Morty Manipulator Chip and capture that guy. If you're just figuring that out, I mean, there. I don't know if I can make a video for you because that's just too easy. But what you want to do, go to Salesman Rick if you don't have the parts to craft a Morty Manipulator Chip. And you can buy yourself one for 500 Flurbos. You can gain those from opening loot boxes and defeating Wild Mortys. You can also gain them from defeating trainers or just even battling trainers. You don't even need to defeat them, but you will get a little bit more. Of course, walk around and pick up all the items. You know, that's pretty basic. So right near the portal, if you want to do any sort of combinations of any common Mortys, what you want to do is go into the daycare. It's right to the left of the portal and go to evolve. And you can tell how many Mortys you need for one evolution. See how this survivor Morty has two little tally marks? It has three spaces that are empty. You can fill those up by blending a Morty. So any Morty you want to evolve, um, just go to the Morty Daycare to check out and see if it is able to be evolved. But what you want to do, since it has three little tally marks, get four Survivor Mortys, one, so you can evolve the rest of the Survivor Mortys into that other Morty. Or this applies to any common Morty in this game. So now press blend after you've clicked on the three Mortys and it will blend into Survivor Morty and you will get a new Morty. So this is a good way to, you know, evolve Mortys, get more powerful Mortys. So now at this point you can evolve Survivalist Morty, but you need five Survivalist Mortys after your first one. So in total you'll need six Survivalist Mortys, you'll need 24 Survivor Mortys to get the final evolution of Survivalist Morty. So just make sure you guys know that it will take a lot of Mortys and it will take a lot of time, but that is a way to get a fully evolved Morty 
and it will take a long time but it is definitely worth it if you want a powerful marty and you don't have one yet if you want to go to the club rick you can go there you can buy credits here this will allow you to get different mortys you can open them up it gives you many items it gives you four different items you can use and it gives you one Morty. If you want to buy credits, I mean, you can do that if you don't want to go out and waste your time capturing Mortys. But I would suggest against that. If you want to play this game, just play it. Don't spend too much money on it. That's just my opinion. I've spent money on this game for videos, but besides that, you know, I haven't really spent too much money. So if you go to Mr. Meeseeks, he will offer you to watch an ad for Flurbos. And he will, um, if you click on him, you know, you can go in there and watch the ad for four hours. So you really don't get too many. I would suggest against it. Unless you want to spend, like, all day looking at ads. I don't really even know how many you can watch. But I'm trying to think of some other tips. If you guys ever have any tips that you think I should implement into a video, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. So let's run around and check if we can find any rare Mortys before we end this episode. I mean, rare Mortys, they are what they're titled. They're rare. They're, you're not going to see them very often, and you're going to see the common ones way more often than you will see the rare ones. So kill the common ones if you want a chance for the rare ones to spawn. Here is a rare one. Let's go into her. Fuck. That guy got her. I'm so dumb. I was nervous. I was trying to click on her, but of course... We weren't able to. Fawn Morty is a great Morty. She is rare. It's actually he, but he is rare. And I would suggest getting him. He might spawn a little bit more often than the other rare ones. I actually don't know if that's true. But I've seen him quite often. So I would suggest trying to look for him. He is very rare. He's a rock type and he's very good. So definitely look around for Fawn Morty. That is that little deer looking one. But I hope these tips helped you out. If they did, please leave a like. Or don't. I don't really care. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.